I've been in the business almost 20 years, to be honest. And, um, you know, when you're a kid, you know, um, you watch a lot of Kung Fu movies, you know, I think you ask any martial artist or anybody who even done a little bit of martial arts, you know, there, it's always been, a, I'm sure it's a fantasy at least once to be like, oh man, if I could be in a movie with Jackie Chan or get punched in the face, man, I'd be great. You know, you have that. I, no, I just took that a little bit further. I always had that in me. I always thought for some reason, I thought it was possible, but at the same time, it seems really far away. Because if you watch those movies, especially when you're a kid, you watch those movies, you see those stuntmen doing, I mean, I'm talking about like Hong Kong stuntmen from the 80s and 90s, you know, like in my opinion, some of the toughest people on earth doing these stunts, like falling from like a three-story balcony on top of like a, a vase and then breaking the vase, you know, with no supports, nothing, you know, like crazy stunts, like jumping off a bridge and hitting, landing on a car before, you know, like just things that are, they wouldn't let you do today, you know? They wouldn't let, they would not let you do today. And, and I'm like, how can, is it possible for me to be one of these guys, you know? Is it possible? It was always like a pipe dream to me, you know? I didn't think it was possible, but during my Kung Fu training, um, uh, during the summers, I went back to Hong Kong to train with uh, Wang Shenlong. Wang Shenlong is uh, Bruce Lee's um, uh, Si Heng, or elder Kung Fu brother, the man most responsible for training him, you know. So basically when you go into Kung Fu school, a lot of times is the Sifu, the master just has a lot of students and the older Kung Fu students teach the rest of the class. So, so uh, Bruce Lee and my Sifu had a really close relationship and I, I, a lot of Bruce Lee fans know about this and, and I would go back every summer to train with him for Wing Chun up until his passing. Um, but uh, during one of my training summers, uh, uh, um, it was already into my college years, one of my college friends introduced me to people who were making movies um, that needed extras on, on the set. And, uh, you know, and I, and I went on and during one of my and then I and I, I met some people. I, I remember meeting Daniel Wu, who we're friends with now, who I'm friends with now. But uh, back then it was just like, oh, look, a movie star. You know, met a bunch of people. But and, and, you know, I was just an extra. Right. But I just thought it's not so hard. I can do this, you know. So I, I went back to, to the States and finished up my degree and everything and had a big discussion with my parents. And then they're very supportive, which is, um, which is a big thing, a big, big, a big part of the decision why I made to go over there. Because, I mean, you think about it. I, I got my master's degree. I got a kung fu school here. I'm, I'm, I got a regular job. You know, I got very regular things going on here. And, and it was a big decision. I mean, there's certain decisions you make in life, you know, then once you make it, you, you made it, you know? I mean, I can't go back and end up being, I can't be a truck driver now, you know? I can't, I can't, I, I, there's, I made that decision, you know? I was a school teacher. I, I don't know if I can go back to teaching at this point in my, in my life. So you make that decision. But at, right now, looking back, it's like, okay, well, I made something of myself, you know, thank God, right? But you never know if that's gonna happen, you know? So. So it was a big step. So having my parents' support was a, was a big thing, and I think a big part of that was you know they you know they they understood that what I really wanted to do, and also they maybe perhaps because I already got a degree, it was like a backup. And and my father loves movies. You know, I remember when I was a kid, he would bring me to watch these really inappropriate movies, right, and for my age, right. But I I thought they were really violent and and great, you know. So that like like the Army of Darkness or or or, or, or um the prequels to that evil dead and all that stuff I'm, I'm sure i wasn't supposed to be in the theater but i got in there and, and I, those things really impacted me and maybe and even today you know my my biggest uh fan is my dad <laughs> he knows he knows all my movies or he knows all my news before i know he's, he's sitting over there actually but anyway so that was a big part of the decisions of me going over there so me going over there so what happened so i um so i quit my job i i, I left my classes kung fu classes to my senior disciples I packed up my suitcase and went to Hong Kong. And then um, I, I didn't know anybody, but um, my Si Heng, my Kung Fu brother, um, David Peterson uh, in Australia, uh, he, you know, he, he he was like the closest person I had to like Hong Kong cinema because he he used to he he knows he met Jackie Chan. He used to write all these articles for like uh, like Kung Fu movie magazines. So that was the closest person that I could. So he he introduced me to some contacts he had over there. Then you know then that one thing led to another. And then um, but the most the, the, the how I really broke in was I think I, I went to uh, my mom is is Christian. So she asked me to go to this uh, Christian fellowship um, yeah, of artists in Hong Kong. And, you know, she's like, you know, it's, maybe it's a good idea for you to 
you know, get some spirituality in there. And also maybe you meet some people, right? I went there and I, I met this guy named Joe Tay. He's a, he's a singer, uh, actor in Hong Kong. And um, long story short, we became good friends. He introduced me to his good buddy, Chin Ga Lok, the, um, the gentleman I told you about that, you know, the head of that stunt team. Um, and then I, I joined the stunt team. So, and then uh, soon after that, I um, met with people in front of the camera that wanted to sign me for work. And, um, you know, I started doing in front of the camera stuff. And um, one thing led to another and I'm here today.